What's up YouTube, it's Cody and today we're going to be doing episode number three of Kubota L-Series Tractor Must Have Mods. Today's mod is right behind us, it's the Toolbox. So this stock toolbox, whether you have the backhoe and it's here or back here, is just an inadequate box. It doesn't store very much. Um, and you know, as tractor owners, you're always trying to keep more stuff on your tractor. So today we are gonna be doing a cheap modification to this to make it a lot better and store a lot more stuff. So this is gonna be mod number three and it is an ammo can toolbox. So we got the, the ammo can here. I got two of them off eBay for $30 with shipping and handling. It's a larger one and then a smaller one. I will put a picture somewhere up here as well as the link in the description. I'm also kind of OCD with how my tractor and everything looks, so I'm gonna be primering and painting the ammo can, and then I also got these stickers off of eBay, and I will leave a link in the description for those, because I figure once it's painted orange, we'll put the Kubota stickers on, make it look kind of factory. So let's get started, guys. Our first step is gonna be removing the factory toolbox here which you're going to need a 12 millimeter socket. There are two bolts, one on each end here. Um, the nuts are welded into the bottom of this frame here, so you don't have to worry about those. So we're gonna zip those off real quick and get this OEM toolbox off. Make sure you save the bolts because we are gonna be using those later. So the next thing we wanna do is fit up our ammo can onto here so we can get the holes drilled and the best explanation i can have for you guys is to line up this bottom indent here sorry this bottom indent here line up the front of that with the end of this bar here that way you know you're dead center and you're out far enough you can still open your box you still want to be able to open the box and that right there is gonna be the perfect spot. So what we're gonna do here is play the balancing act, sharpie some dots from the bottom, sharpie some dots from the bottom here and drill our hole. Okay, so we're gonna use a just the ink tube of a pen here to mark out our holes we need to drill and then we'll get a little bit better one with a Sharpie after we get them in. The reason you can't use a Sharpie is because the holes are too deep with the nuts there. And this is really the only way that I could think to get, get a hole. Let's see if it worked at all. Yep. So we have our hole here and our hole here that need to be drilled. So we're gonna drill those real fast. And then we're gonna fit it up, make sure it's all lined up, and we'll get to paint. So to drill these holes, you're, I'm just gonna use a 5 16 inch drill bit. Um, you're gonna use the factory bolts from that old toolbox, but we're gonna put washers on the inside just to give it a little more strength. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these two holes, and we'll get it fitted up, and then we'll get it painted. So for the final drill pass, we're going to be using a 21 64th drill bit. Just makes it a little bit bigger. Just check. 21 64ths is the drill bit you want to use. Now we're just going to do a quick test fit. Make sure everything lines up nicely. And 
And that'll be our finished product after we paint it. So everything lines up good. I'm gonna take these bolts out and we're gonna get this thing primered and painted and we'll be good to install. All right, so now we're gonna hit this with a coat of primer, get it all nice and cleaned up and then we're gonna spray it Kubota orange, apply the stickers and then we're gonna apply the entire new toolbox, third, third episode must have mod onto the tractor. Okay, now we'll let that sit and dry. We will give it our final coat of Kubota orange and then we will be good to install. And like I said, guys, you don't have to paint it. You know, no one says you have to. I'm just OCD about my equipment. I'd like it to match as good as possible. So that's why we are painting this ammo can and making it kind of look like it belongs on the tractor. So we'll let this dry and then we'll move on. All right, guys, so we let this sit overnight and we are ready to hit it with some Kubota orange. I'm just using the magic tractor implements from Tractor Supply Co. Um, it's not an exact match, but this is the dried color of that. So pretty close. Um, we'll hit it with this, let it dry, and then we'll be good to put it on the tractor. All right, so now we will let that sit and dry and then we will get a Kubota sticker on it and we will get this thing installed. Hey so we have gotten our new toolbox painted and we let it dry overnight. So it's ready to install back on the tractor. So we'll go ahead and get it bolted up and we'll get this mod. Finished. All right, so we're gonna take our bottom half here, get the holes lined up and put our bolts in. We're gonna take our 12 millimeter socket and wrench these bolts down. And that's on there nice and sturdy. So we put our top piece back on and these just slide in. They're on pins here in the back. Slide that top piece on. We're good to lock it down. Last thing I wanna do, just a little extra finishing touch for me, is to put one of the Kubota stickers I had purchased online on the side of it. And that way, kinda of gives it that little bit of an extra, extra look. So we will get this thing pressed on here nicely. Hopefully this doesn't peel the fresh paint off. And that gives us a nice 
little finishing look here on the upgraded toolbox. All right, everyone. So this concludes episode number three of Kubota L series tractor must have mods. Now we went from our small, cheap plastic Kubota toolbox to an ammo can toolbox that has been painted Kubota orange. We've got the Kubota sticker on it here and it's going to give us significantly more space to carry stuff. It's also waterproof, which is really nice. And it mounts directly in where the factory toolbox was. So this, in my opinion, guys, is a must have mod for the Kubota L series tractors. It looks good. It works good. And it's something that everyone should have. I think in total, it was $30 for two ammo cans. Um, the paint and the sticker, I think roughly $40 to $45 for this mod. You will need a drill and a 12 millimeter socket, but it is well worth it if you guys want to upgrade your storage a little bit. So if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. We put out videos like this every Monday and Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.